I had a Frit painting on glass that I had done, so I took a picture of it and put it into the computer into a paint program. The idea here is that I can select some of the colors that you see down there and uh, paint over the painting here uh, and give me some idea of uh, what I might do by adding the rouge paints and what colors I might want to use. So the idea is just to uh, take some of the colors and play around and see if you can make a painting that you might like. You need to keep in mind that the, uh, at least in my paint program, the brush is actually around circle, so I can't get the same strokes or, that I would get on a real brush. But uh, it uh, will give you some idea of what colors uh, you might want to use. So if you look down towards the bottom uh, right corner of the painting, you'll see me drawing some uh, green lines in there just to show you how the paint program works. And uh, I will take these back off and then we'll begin to actually uh, do some of the painting and, and show you what we get when we have it finished and go on to painting on the glass. Here's what we ended up with after we uh, played around with the computer paint program. So the next step now is to print this off and take it over to the studio and actually begin applying some real paints to the glass. This is the actual fricked uh, glass that we started with on a light table where we're going to do our painting. Rouge paints are mixed with water. You can use the traditional or the lead-free paints or the enamels or transparents, whatever you want. But you mix them up till you get the consistency that you want. The darker you want, the more uh, viscous and heavy you want the paint to be. And then once you got the paint where you want, it's just a matter of applying it to the glass. We're gonna take this dark corner down here and just add a little, a few more browns and things to the corner to try and uh, change the look of it a little bit. We didn't like that corner. So we put a few different colors. You can see now some of the uh, raw reddish browns we're applying to it. There's no secret technique to this. Uh, I don't consider myself an artist, but uh, I have fun playing with it. But. The idea is the same no matter uh, how good an artist you are. In this case, I'm just sort of spotting them on and uh, brushing them around, trying to get a loose seal. Actually, uh, almost a pointed kind of uh, application where you sort of blob it on. We continue the painting applying different colors, mixing them up, blending them in. It's a, a slow process, but it's uh, the fun part. So we're going to just uh, show you clips of this in different sections as we do it. And when we're finished, the uh, next step uh, we'll get into firing the paint and uh, what temperatures we fire it to. So that'll be the next thing.
Well, here we have the painting almost finished. We'll put on the final touches and then we'll fire it in the kiln and see what it looks like. Okay, here's the glass uh, as it came out of the kiln. What you see here is the frit painting that we first started with. And here in the second picture is the painting after we fired it with the roof paints. Hope that you enjoyed the uh, tutorial.